dimensional versus three dimensional. And that's why. Well, I'll get to another example here in a moment. Of one dimensional versus two dimensional. That just popped in my head by by analyzing the public. So. The globalist on record. 53 years ago, 54 years ago now, through the Treaty of Rome, established the European Union through a trade deal. They tell the slaves that they've done it publicly in 2000. But when they had the 50th anniversary in 2007, they celebrated in all the EU member states 50 years of the European Union. And the Bilderberg Group members came out and made statements to the BBC. Hey, we covertly set this up. Isn't it great? We're doing this in North America as well and Asia and Africa. They don't conquer you now with a military that rolls over, you know, the hill on you. They conquer you by getting by getting their people into your government paid off to sign you over to a, quote, trade deal that isn't really a trade deal. It's the end of your sovereignty. And they get you to sign on to all of these debts that you don't owe and to all these derivatives. Then they hold your country hostage because your finance minister lies to you and says that you owe it when you don't even owe you know, less than 10 percent of it. The rest is all derivatives garbage that's impossible to pay off, by the way. You know, they spring the trap when it's impossible to pay off. It's all fiat. And, I mean, this is so important. I know I'm getting academic here, but I want people to really get their mind around this. So, the euro was set up to get countries to give up their sovereignty without knowing it, to get them tied into debts they don't owe. And now the bankers are ready to fully implode the euro itself and set up a new system above it where the countries totally waive all their rights and the euro waves its collective right into this financial dictatorship. And even the Daily Mail and Reuters and others call it a financial dictatorship. That guys pull that up, uh, Europe going under financial dictatorship or 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 new uh, new new EU system fourth Reich. I mean, uh, you'll see the the, the uh, London Guardian you know, I mean even having to admit that. Totally dictatorial. And so what Tarpley's saying is they set the euro up as a scaffolding to build this tyranny around it. Now they want to implode that old system to fully consolidate it with a wrecking ball and basically scoop it up into a total tyranny. So Tarpley saying now the wolf pack of the banks want to fully destroy that government system because it still is tied to the and, and, and its authority is tied to the national sovereignty of the unit pieces. Not states get together to be stronger. That was what it was originally, you know, the, the selling point. Now they're now the globals are trying to implode it to go to the next system. So Tarpley's saying use the euro to stand against the bankers and don't let them destroy it to bring it into the next level. Because he understands they're not planning to destroy the euro and, oh, it's a setback for the new world order, as some have said. When in reality, this was their plan to wreck the North American Union once they're done with it, the European Union, the Asian Union, and say the system didn't, didn't work and bring it in to this bank of the world. I mean, that was the plan since 1975 with the Trilateral Commission. I've been on air more than 16 years telling you this day was coming. They'd set up three unions, bankrupt those, then offer the solution to this private corporate world government you pay your VAT and sales taxes to. I didn't know it'd be a carbon tax 16 years ago, but a little bit after that, they announced that as well. So Tarpley says, don't let them implode the euro. That's their plan. Uh, there's the bonds of those countries. They're still solvent. They want to fully destroy it now because they're done with that phase. And they don't want them to ever be able to get financially stable again. And people say, well, then which is it? Is the euro good or is it bad? No. At this key phase where the globalists are ready now to implode it, you need to occupy it and use its mechanisms to block them fully from imploding the sovereignty of the countries. Because the new system they're going to is completely dictatorial. So see, that's three-dimensional thinking versus two-dimensional thinking. And I don't even know if I 100% even agree with Tarpley on that, but, but I see his point that that's what the globalists want. That's their strategy. That's where this is going. And they hold everybody hostage saying the euro will collapse unless you sign on to this new authority 
which actually creates a new super euro run by private banks. But in that plan, they want to fully bankrupt the old euro. And no matter how many times you bail out Greece or bail out Portugal or Spain or, or, or any of these countries, you're not really bailing out those countries. See, see that's a two-dimensional versus three-dimensional. People that go off one and two dimensions mentally, you tell them, oh, the bankers want to save our country. And so you just believe what the news says instead of actually analyzing what it really is. Just because something says it's apple pie in a box doesn't mean it's apple pie. You could have a bunch of screwdrivers in, in, in an apple pie box. You could have a bunch of spiders in there. You could have a bunch of horse manure in there. You could have diamonds in there. Packaging doesn't necessarily mean what's actually in there. That's three-dimensional thinking. And then I see comments on there like, why isn't Alex Jones covering Fast and Furious? I saw that on one of the videos. And I, and I probably come and tell because I saw it posted on all the videos even though we've been talking about Fast and Furious for six years, intensely for three, telling you they're shipping guns all over the U.S., not just Mexico, and allowing Sinaloa and others to ship cocaine in. And now everything Sully Castile and others told us here on air five, six years ago has been confirmed and is in the news. But see, with a one-dimensional thinker, or even two-dimension, you could say, when they go to my site and they don't see the front page talking about Fast and Furious today, I'm not covering Fast and Furious and so from a childlike way, that's a way to kind of feel good about somebody with a radio show, with a TV show, is to say, hey, this guy isn't doing a good job. I, the YouTube viewer, I have a very high moral standard. I have great value. Uh, you know, look at the NASCAR champion. Uh, he made a wrong turn and crashed. Uh, I, I can backseat drive and say they're bad and say that person is a terrible driver. See... It's all how people look at the world. I try to look at it like a prism through all the different fractals and angles. All right, we're hitting the news. Full hour of calls coming up. We'll get into Hank Williams Jr. getting fired off Monday Night Football. Stay with us. Men, are you urinating more frequently? Do you wake up to urinate? Now be honest. Is your sex life what it used to be? Don't ignore these changes. Your prostate health can affect your whole life. Call right now to discover the Beta Prostate free bottle giveaway. Beta Prostate is a natural supplement that helps your body maintain prostate health. This includes stronger urine flow, healthy bladder emptying. It even reduces waking at night from the urge to go. Take care of your prostate, and it will take care of you. Learn how to try Beta Prostate free. You only pay a low shipping and handling fee. Call 1-800-511-4514. That's 1-800-511-4514. As an extra bonus, get our men's libido formula to support better intimacy for both you and her. It's yours absolutely free. Call now for details. Call 1-800-511-4514. That's 1-800-511-4514. Attention gardeners, this is an urgent GCN self-reliance update. GCN has just discovered a new bioactive superfood for garden plants, flowers, and herbs. It's called Proto-Grow, and it's so effective at producing rapid plant growth that it seems to almost force plants to grow like crazy under practically any soil and light conditions. Now, here's the best part for our listeners who garden for self-reliance. Proto-Grow's unique blend of sea nutrients maximizes mineral uptake and dramatically increases bloom set, creating maximum plant growth in minimum time. Proto-Grow works by providing geometric keys, which have the capacity to to actually unlock the genetic code for nutritional uptake in plants. Proto-Grow's full-spectrum plant fertility means fruits and vegetables with extraordinary taste and up to 10 times the nutritional value. And if you want to double or triple the potency of herbs or wheatgrass, you can. If you want to grow nutritionalized superfoods with non-hybrids, it's now easy. GCN listeners who want to grow dirt cheap superfoods should visit the Proto-Grow website at growlikecrazy.com. That's www.growlikecrazy.com or call 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Guys, notice things are different now that you're a little older. Girls, notice your guy's not quite the man he used to be. Lower energy, more fat, lower sex drive. It all could be the signs of testosterone levels dropping. It doesn't matter who you are, guys. This will happen to you. But now, for the first time, we can boost testosterone naturally by 61% with Ageless Male, a safe, natural supplement that helps you maintain normal, healthy testosterone levels. Ageless Male is proven in clinical research to safely boost testosterone 
testosterone by 61%. Healthy testosterone means more vitality, a great outlook, and a healthy sex drive. This is a game changer. Be an ageless male. For your risk-free trial, just call 1-800-350-2122. Don't wait another day. Call 1-800-350-2122. That's 1-800-350-2122. Your calls are coming up throughout the entire next hour. And I'm going to get into Putin. Vladimir Putin is calling for a Eurasian Union. See, this is the 21st century form of tyranny. They don't have the Russians pour in and just take over your country or finance a rebellion and the Russians pour in to help the uprising in Romania or Czechoslovakia, which, you know, they've broken into the Czech Republic and uh, other areas today. That's what the UN's doing. They have rebels they fund, start killing everybody, then NATO comes in. That's kind of the the West adopting Soviet models. No, they just come in and pay off your politicians, promise them deals, and have your politicians sign you into a deal to go back under the new Soviet Union. But you don't call it the Soviet Union, you call it the Eurasian Union. And see, the arguments they have uh, in places like Russia to do this, I'm not defending it, is, well, NATO's coming in and taking over all their old satellites, so they've got to do this. So that's this mindset of expand or die. Take over more areas, dominate everybody, or you're going to get dominated. The people of Eastern Europe and Southern Europe And Central Asia need to demand their own sovereignty. See, sovereignty is a firewall against global government and big empires. States inside our country are a firewall against tyranny. Because if one state gets corrupt, you can go to the other. And everybody will just leave that corrupt state. It creates real diversity. But if you have one big central federal government, well, it goes bad. It's all over. National sovereignty and sub-sovereignty within states is a natural firewall against tyranny. Start thinking in a three-dimensional or even four-dimensional way. I mean, all of you out there promoting open borders, the globalists, the big mainstream TV, who you know doesn't have your best interest at heart, is telling you have the borders wide open. And never pointing out the hypocrisy that American citizens get treated like garbage in Mexico, and you don't go there and ask for welfare. You don't go there and say, I'm an American, my wife's about to have a baby, pay for everything. They would laugh at you. It's part of making sure Mexico never becomes free. If we'd have made 30 million people stay down there, there would have been a real revolution, and Mexico probably would be better off today. But instead, America can be used as a political steam valve. See, that's three- or four-dimensional thinking. That's wargaming things out. That's... That's seeing it in a more complex view, not just, oh, well, people are bashing Obama and I'm a Democrat, so, you know, Obama must be good. Or people are bashing Republicans who are Democrats and I'm a Republican. So, again, just because Democrats attack somebody doesn't mean they're good if you're a conservative. Or just because people attack Obama who are, quote, conservative doesn't mean Obama's good. That's part of the theater. That's part of of the garbage that's part of keeping you partisan now when do you know somebody's good when the whole system tries to ignore them and when they're forced to cover them they attack them and you've seen msnbc and fox attack ron paul you've seen him get the least amount of speaking time in all the events you've seen ron paul shafted over and over again and demonized and lied about There is your illustration right there. But you don't just trust him because of that. You go and look at his voting record. You go and look at the fact that he's never compromised when it comes to the Constitution. And then you understand he's going after the real enemy, the Federal Reserve. And I want to tell you, if you're angry about the New World Order taking over our society...